This is part four of a four-part series on the rec centers at the Villages. It's also game day for the Eagles in Tampa Bay in the playoffs. Let's get started. My name is Rusty Nelson, and as I said, welcome to part four of a four-part series about the recreation centers in the villages. And if you watch the first one, I will put the link up above and I will put the links below. You know that this was supposed to be just one part, but as I started to dive into this, I realized how important the villages rec centers are to this way of life. If you want to buy a house, and there's nothing wrong with this, if you want to buy a house and you want to go live on that house and you want to go sit on the beach and that's what you want to do, that's fine. But most people come to the villages because of the activities and the availability close at hand of those activities and the social life. Well, a lot of the social life revolves around activities, and the activities are run by basically the rec center, and the information is put together by the rec center. So it really becomes the hub and the heart, in my mind, of the villages. So it's it's really important to understand what's going on in the villages. Now, this is the last of a, a four part series, as I said. The first part of this, which I would suggest you go back and watch, deals more with looking things up and how you find things. Because when I first got here, I definitely got lost a few times and missed things that were actually happening. And then when I went out to go shoot this, shoot these, which took a while, I learned, I thought, I didn't know we had that. I didn't know that was here. But a lot of that can be found before you would have to go out and shoot your own video through those publications. So I'd suggest going back and watching part one. It'll probably help you out a lot. And also there's something else. Um, I'll, I'll flash a, a, a cover up here. Ryan does a great book called Inside the Bubble. Now, I, I don't make anything from mentioning this at all. Zero. I get no compensation for it. But I, I started putting these videos together so that people could learn as I learned about the villages. And one of those things that became a big asset in, especially in the very beginning, was a book called Inside the Bubble. So I'll flash that up there. I always put the link down below because I think it is an asset. Go check it out. Get on his uh, newsletter. And um, yeah, definitely a good asset. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started this. So if this is your first time watching these four uh, parts, this part deals with the second half of the regional rec center. So the first five we did were Savannah, Paradise, La Hacienda, Lake Miona, and Colony Cottage, and Paradise being the very first one. Now we're going to do Eisenhower, Rohan, and jump on over to Everglades, and then Fenny, and then Izell. Now that you kind of know where those rec centers are, regional rec centers, the map that I was using is from the Villages website, the villages.com map. And I'm, I'm not showing you uh, those maps just for the heck of it. I'm showing you because if you look at the other videos, I showed you how to use them. Now, I will show you how to use that map uh, when, when we get to Fenny and also how to use the recreations, uh, department's publication. So we'll take a look at those because Fenny's kind of spread out, but anyway, let's go visit Eisenhower. If there was one rec center, people would tell you to come see while you're at the villages, it would be Eisenhower. And we'll talk more about its uniqueness once we go inside. But let's go up in the drone and take a look at the facility. And it's got a really nice layout and all the normal amenities, shuffleboard, bocce, pickleball, platform tennis, tennis, half court basketball, nice walkway around. And the sports pool, which if you watch the other videos, you'd know that the sports pool is pretty strict on who can be there. It's residents only, and they do have pretty strict schedules. So you need to look that up before you just go over there, but let's jump inside.
We'll talk about Eisenhower and how it came about here in a little bit, but real quick, there's a room just off to the right of the information area that has shuffleboard. And as you can see, there's memorabilia in there, but I always see people playing shuffleboard in there and it's, it's, uh, I, I, I like the game and there's different shuffleboard groups, but all around Eisenhower, there are representations of military uniforms. And of course, there's Santa Claus trying to get in on the act of his uniform. But almost every inch of the wall is covered with memorabilia donated by veterans to this facility, to the Eisenhower Rec Center. Along with each one of these uniforms, it represents a different time period or a different branch of the service. If you go around to each of these rooms, no matter what regional rec center you're in, you'll see these calendars. And it just so happens the day I was there was the, the these music boxes, and this is a group. And the reason I have this in here is a lot of these videos I show, they're empty rooms but the rooms are actually used for things. And even though this is a smaller group, it just goes to show you that throughout the villages, no matter what type of group you may want to participate in, it's there and they use these facilities. And also, if you want to form a group, the villages makes it really, the recreation center makes it really easy to form these groups and get the word out there. So there's just about something for everybody going back out into the hallway every single one of these pieces that i know of is donated by various people that were veterans and i think the marines were the first ones to step up and i'm going to put a link down below to the video that the villages put together because it kind of documents how this was all put together and it's really interesting but here's my favorite because i used to fly this airplane on the right right there the b-52 and i flew that for a while with a u-2 so i'm kind of partial to this building also but this airplane just on the right of this picture that's the airplane i flew the b-52 some really really cool pieces of memorabilia donated that actually were a part of the war i, I really like this one it's it's kind of fun to look at and the name and the history and everything else. Plus, there's a lot of letters from people, uh, helmets, uh, just like here. There's guns and collections. And, of course, like most of the regional rec centers, and not, um, not all, but most of the regional rec centers have a larger stage. But this floor, it kind of makes you feel like you're in the White House someplace. I mean, this is uh, – it, it's – just a unique visit, and it can take a while to go through it. Also, it has what, you know, I call it the warming area, where if you have a larger party catered, you can bring the caterer in, and they have plenty of room to work with to cater almost any size party. Something else that you see in a lot of the regional rec centers is a uh, arts and crafts room. And this is certainly a nice one. It looks like there's a lot of activity and there always seems to be some really nice art on the wall. So if you get a chance, stop by and see Eisenhower for sure. I just visited Eisenhower. Now we're going to drive down 44 a little ways and we're going to hit Rohan. And Rohan's kind of unique because the theme of this one is the timeline of the villages and how it's grown. This is a picture of Rohan with a sports pool and sits right next to the Chitty Chatty Bridge and right along Morris Boulevard. And if you jump outside and take a look at the sports, the unique thing is in the top right-hand corner, you have two softball fields, 18 pickleball courts, and the regular crew of other sports. Nothing really too unique, except this time when I was at Rohan, I ran into something kind of unique. Okay, so I'm, I'm out here shooting to shoot Rohan. Really? And, yeah, and so what are you guys doing out here? Where are we you from? We are doing a Christmas 
golf cart parade for Bradford, which is the, the best village, village of, here. The yeah. Village of Red. Yeah. This is our second now, annual. I, I, I live in St. Catherine, but okay. I'll, I'll let you go with this. No, this no, is we'll definitely, help you guys next this year. This is the, definitely the best golf cart I've seen. Thank you. Thank so, you. No, no, hey, guys, do you see Finny back here? He's no, our mascot. No, no. This is Finny. Hey, He's Finny. our mascot. This is Santa Finny. <laughs> How nice you doing? to meet you. Thank yeah, you same so here. <laughs> hey, Rusty. How you doing? We watch you on YouTube. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is funny. I was out here shooting this before I go back up north again. <laughs> when are you getting back? Uh, a couple of days. So. Hey, did you go here yet? Yeah. Well, off and on. <laughs> oh, okay. Down for videos, a great parade. <laughs> yeah. This is a good one. Thank you. Watch your videos. Thank you. Hey. Holy moly, you guys just you guys just keep going on forever and ever, huh? This is a good one. You guys got this covered. Nice ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this this is what happens when you're just out here around. We got a lot of people cruising by. Now you may ask, what in the world does that have to do with the villages? Well, for people that haven't been to the villages, I kind of wanted to give a flavor of what it's like living in the villages. And although that was, I don't think that was an official recreation type event, a lot of these people meet at the villages. And in fact, I've done a couple of things where I've met in the parking lot. Like if you look my long day video and jump back to see that you'll see we met in the parking lot but i, I wanted to give a flavor to people that hadn't been here uh, of what the villages is like and what the people are like in the villages so that's why i threw that in there because that was happening that day in the parking lot of rohan in fact i think you'll get the general idea as i walk in through the door I'm greeted by an elf, and that just kind of reminded me of the villages also. Let's go ahead and side Rohan. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. As you walk through those doors, the first thing that you're going to see is this giant hand-painted mural by Dennis Graves, who's done most of the artwork in the villages. If you see a mural, I promise you he's probably had his hands on it. He's been doing it here for over 20 years. Also, on your left and your right, you'll find a bunch of information, as you'll find in most of the regional rec centers, you'll either find racks like this with information or there's always somebody friendly to go ahead and help you out and at christmas time the villages really does it up in the regional rec centers some type of nice decoration but here is crazy gringo and he was actually uh, a statue kind of thing that stood out in front of a restaurant called crazy gringos in the fiesta now look at his hands he's got gloves on because so many used to people used to get their pictures taken with him and shaking his hands his hands actually fell off and this is up at the the chapel that is the now the sharon theater or area but I, I believe that um, Tracy Matthews, who does most of the decorating and I think is in charge of it, she's held on to a lot of this memorabilia over the years and kind of was smart enough figuring that one day they were going to have to use it. But there's newspaper clippings, there's articles, there's renderings. Um, it's all kinds of stuff dealing with the timeline. Now you'll see a bunch of these windows. There's a, uh, actually 11 of them, and they are murals painted by the actual by actual artists that live in the villages. And the 11th one, there's 10 of them painted by them, and the 11th one is painted by the Rohan family. Now 
Who is John Rohan? A lot of us already know that's who the building is named after. And he is actually the regional uh, recre the recreation director, John Rohan. And there's an article written about him and a villages museum, which is exactly what we're talking about here, the Rohan Center. And this is one of the craft rooms, which you'll see in many of the regional rec centers. Really nice one. And the lighting's playing havoc with my color on my video. But you can see a lot of pictures of people, like people you may have seen in the videos, like Jennifer Parr at a younger age, and kind of documenting the history of the villages. Also, presidents have been here. As you go through here, it kind of makes you realize you're living in a, yeah, kind of a unique area and uh, it kind of makes it fun. Now, okay, so here's the bathroom again, but I like showing the bathrooms because there's not too many places in the world you can show the bathrooms and they've definitely changed over the years, but they are always nice and getting nicer, it seems like. And this just because I just thought it was a cool shot of the folks that started the villages and kind of got it up and going. Eisenhower, Rohan, and now we'll jump across the turnpike to Everglades. Just Let's just get to it here. This is Everglades, really nice complex. And as most, but not all, Everglades has a sports pool. And once again, I encourage you, don't just drop in and expect to go there. But it also has those little pads right there you can see our outside kind of like workout areas have different little things you can work out on and use body resistance. But out in the water, if you take a look there, you can see little tiny dots. This is kind of unique to the Everglades and I believe one other area up in La Hacienda, and that is the sailboat racing. Also, there is the typical bocce and shuffleboard. And you can see there's a nice walkway that goes all the way around this complex. You're probably asking, what in the world is that thing right in the middle of the screen? Well, that is the RC racetrack. And they either do drag racing or race around the oval. And let me tell you, these things are kind of fun to watch. And they move. They have a schedule so you can check out their schedule and go join them or go watch whatever you like to do. Well, pickleball courts and platform tennis. There's a full basketball court and also a full soccer field. Now... Softball, this is some major stuff here. Five leagues and you do tryouts, uh, I think twice a year and you're drafted onto each team anyway. That is a whole video in itself. Let's kind of move into Everglades itself because the Everglades Rec Center is a lot of fun to go visit. You just kind of walk around there, but as you can see also, it is partially a sales office, which we'll see towards the end. When you open up these doors, the first time I'm going to show you what this looks like, not at Christmas. And this is without the Christmas decorations. Pretty gorgeous. But jumping back to outside the door, in typical villages fashion, they really do it up for Christmas and make a really, really nice facility. Now, the theme of the Everglades is, well, it's nature pretty much, but the photographer that did a lot of these photographs, he was the photographer for the national parks, I believe for about three and a half years or something like that. Just off to the right, there is a room that is now, it kind of looks like they've mixed it up with a multi-purpose and craft, but it's dividable, fairly large room, dividable up into three sections. And I imagine this will change a little bit once the sales office moves out of there. Going back into the main area, you can see a bunch of really, I mean, it's really nice photography hung up on the wall right here. And for those photographers, anybody know where this is? Go ahead and put it down in the comments. It's a pretty famous spot. But uh, the, the photographer just passed away just uh, last year. Unfortunately, I think that was pretty unexpected. And this is, I put this in here because I look at these accent chairs and no matter where I go in the villages, they have the coolest accent chairs. And I, can't, I don't even want to think about how much those suckers cost. Once again, the photography and anybody know what these horns belong to, these antlers? 
please put it down in the comments because I do not know. And here's the part that is the sales office, and I'm sure this will be changed over into some kind of rec center type, type stuff. But if you want to go in and see, this is the St. Catherine area. And if you look right there in the middle, you'll see kind of a triangle. Yep, right there. Right in that area is where I live, in, and that is Azel. I just took a break and went back to watch the Eagles play Tampa Bay. And sorry to say, Eagles, but uh, it didn't look too sharp this time. But we in Philadelphia have a saying, and that is, it's all about next year. And you kind of get used to saying it, unfortunately. But maybe next year will be the year. Anyway, back to this game. Now, we are up to the second to the last one, and that is Fenny. And I told you what I do when I got to Fenny is show you how to use the recreation publication and the map that I've been using. And because that's what this is all about to show you on the Internet. And that's what I'm going to do. Once again, I don't work for the villages. Uh, these are put out by the villages, but they really will help you kind of maneuver around and learn what's going on. So let's dive into that pretty quick. And I'm going to run through it really quick. So don't get discouraged. You can watch it again or go back to part one. Let's do it. As I said, I'm going to go through this pretty quick. So just hang on to your shorts. If you want a better explanation of it, please go to part one. You can go to the villages map and Google that and come up with this right here. And it is an interact interactive map that the villages has on their websites on the search. Just type in Benny and you'll see Benny Recreation Center. Click on that and look at that. Look how that comes up really quick. Now, the thing is, is Fenny is kind of unusual. And as we zoom in here, it's really easy to use this map to see a lot of things that are going on. Starting at the bottom of Fenny, you'll see a really nice walk track and then right above it that brown line area is actually a wonderful built-in boardwalk almost i guess you would call it that's really nice to walk around and very uh we'll, we'll, we'll go down and take a look at that then the rec center itself is fenny recreation center and this is a regional rec center now you can tell just by looking at it that the pool is not square so it is not a sports pool the brown building is Fenny Grill. So there's actually a grill there, and there's a lot of walkways that go all through this. The thing is, is you would think that they would have a sports pool in the area, but what they did was, is they combined, if you go just to the uh, other side of Fenny Way, is Spanish Moss Recreation Center. And in this recreation center, even though it is a neighborhood recreation center, it has a sports pool. So you can use this map for a lot of things because it is very detailed. Now, let's jump over and see how you get into the Recreation and Parks publication. You would think I would be telling you to go to the Village's website, but instead I'm gonna tell you to go to the Village's Daily Sun. And there's a lot of information you can find out on Daily Sun. And one of those things is the publication from the Recreation and Parks. Now, you can also get this delivered on Thursdays it comes out. You can also pick it up at the regional rec centers. And you can click on Recreation tab and Recreation and Parks publication. And you will end up coming to this page. Now, it's really weird because I just went on to it. And of course, this time that I'm trying to do it, there's something wrong with the way it's loaded. On the left is the cover, page one. And then page, you go inside and usually see this welcome page along with the page that's on the left here, Recreation Center. Benny is, this is divided up into the regional rec areas. And if you go to Fenny area, it's on page 28 and 29. So jump over to 28 and 29. And Fenny area pops up. Now, the thing is about Fenny, like I said, it is pretty unusual because it actually has an at your service, which means you can do guest passes and that type of thing. Um, and and I, I cover that stuff in part one. But there's also, you'll see right away that it is family pool. There's also, it looks like they have archery there. And, and 
campfire, a fire pit type thing, but a lot of stuff you can find out along with their schedule. And also, if you look on the right-hand side is Spanish Moss, the neighborhood rec area that we looked at right above. And you can see that that one has a sports pool instead of a neighborhood pool. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump out to Fenny and we'll go take a tour around that. If you want a picturesque area, Benny's definitely it, that's for sure. There are these gorgeous live oaks and the whole recreation center is kind of nestled in this little area. Right below is the, the springs and I believe it pumps like something like 18 million gallons or something like that a day, but it fluctuates between zero and higher than that. So if you want to take the grandkids to someplace to kind of hang out and walk around or you want to walk around yourself, this is definitely a fun place to go. The front of the, the building is really, really, really nice looking. I, I, I love this building and I had heard that this wasn't originally a village's building. So if you know different, go ahead and put it down in the comments uh, so everybody knows. I kind of like to figure out what the real story is. This is the walkway that on the left hand side of the building facing it is right next to the actual boardwalk. And this is, this is a fun little walk. I like going down there with my camera. I saw some gators down there and all kinds of critters running around, but it makes for a nice little interesting day. And there's little plaques you can see one on the right there that describe everything that happened around there and kind of the history of the area too but under the live oaks come down and take a look and there is Fenny Grill which is on the right hand side of the building inside I okay I admit it I went belly up here a few times and had a few beers nice area and then there's also a little outside area that has service that you can eat at also to the right of the building right of of the grill a lot of times they'll have live music out there and then just up the pathway is the pool area and makes for just a nice nice complex now, if this doesn't make you feel like you're on vacation, I don't know what does. People pay a lot of money to do that vacation, that's for sure. Recently, it's gone under some renovations, and I think it was just finished last year in 2021. And I think it went through some renovations before that too. So it's it's been up and down. Maybe it was a sales center, I'm not really sure. This is the inside of the building. Once again, it is Christmas time, and they've done a really nice job. I, I, I just, they must keep themselves really busy with the decorators. I, I can't imagine, just can't imagine. But it kind of gives you that cottage feel and everything's just a little smaller. Has a really nice little place to play shuffleboard. Nice artwork. It's very nature oriented. This is actually, looks like this is set up for dance. It isn't. I think that's a ballerina or ballet type thing. I don't know. You're talking to the wrong person here when it comes to that. But uh, I, I'd probably pull some uh, all kinds of muscles there. This lady was really nice, real friendly. Not sure what she was looking for, but uh, I hope she found it. The artwork dealing with nature and that type of thing. And there's those accent chairs again. I guarantee you they probably cost as much as my house. <laughs> this is this is, this just made me feel really comfortable when I came in here. Nice and airy room. You can see there's a little it's not a kitchen, it's one of those warming rooms off to the left, but just enough to take care of this multi-purpose room here that can also be divided into two rooms. Now down the other hallway, I really like it because just to the left of this right here, turn left, there we go, is a little gallery with a bunch of artwork in it. And I think they need more of this with all the artwork that is produced by the village residents. I'd love to see them take one of those empty buildings in one of the squares and make a little gallery that kind of shuffles in and out. Hint, 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 villages. A lot of town here in the villages. 
Run outside, just this is on the left hand side is the membership gym. And a lot of people ask questions about this. You can find information out, you guessed it, from the publications or just call up the villages or stop in one of the regional rec centers. They'll be glad to help you out and explain it to you. But I believe it's either a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly membership. I don't think it was too horribly expensive. I don't remember exactly what it is, but I'm sure it changes. And that is the boardwalk out there and the walking path. Last but not least, after Fenny is Azale. Now, this is going to be a pretty amazing area down there, and this is going to be pretty quick when I do this. This is the rec area, nine pickleball courts. There is a sports pool off to the left. That is the barn cart just coming into frame, and Live Oaks Golf Course up above that. That just opened up. That's a championship golf course. There is the market area and McGrady's Pub and Clifton Cove. Putting course. So that's an 18 hole putting course. Yes, you heard it right. This is the actual facility itself. And I'm not going to get really in depth with this because I'm not 100% sure this is really complete here. But once it's done and finished, I'll recap on the whole facility. I came in here. This is actually the night before I was leaving to go up north. And this gentleman that was in here, the two of us, I think, were the only people in the building, obviously right around Christmas time. Pretty much standard rec center and information area. There's a really nice information desk right there. Christmas decorations and those mannequins that show up all over the place around the villages. Now, I think if I had to, I could make a creepy horror movie, low-budget horror movie about the mannequins. The whole area, Azell, is based on golf. And Kenny Azell, who was the designer of most of the golf courses, maybe all of them, I'm not really sure, but that's him in the middle right there and the red jacket that, that it belonged to him checkered jacket and a lot of the cases and stuff are memorabilia dealing with golf and I'm sure with him but golf has definitely had its tradition there's Nancy Lopez and Arnold Palmer so they both have a golf course there named after them for the villages at the villages and this is a bunch of memorabilia. Palmer Legend, this is one of the rooms and this is the craft room in this area. I'm not sure, I haven't seen these. Maybe they have these cubicles, but I'm not sure what those little cubby holes were for unless that's to put projects in. I haven't quite seen that before, so that's something new at least that, that I haven't seen yet. That was Azel. Now that whole area is not completed yet. And I'll tell you what, In for me, I kind of feel like Azel is not finished being decorated yet. I could be wrong, but once that whole area gets going down there, it's going to be quite the facility and quite the area to be around. Don't forget, right on the other side of the championship golf course is going to be the bridge that takes you across the turnpike and into the southern area. And that's going to be for cars also. Can't wait until it get, gets done since I live down there. But remember, there are uh, three other parts to this. Part one is how to find information about uh, the recreation centers. Two is about your neighborhood and your village recreation centers. Three is the upper five regional rec centers. And in any case, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll either see you here on YouTube or I'll see you down in the villages. Thanks for joining me.